Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So a few videos back, I introduced to you the new RSP1B SDR receiver from SDR Play. Well, a couple of days ago, SDR Play announced the release of another brand new SDR receiver called the RSPDX R2. Now this new RSPDX R2 looks exactly the same as the first RSPDX with three antenna ports, two of which are SMA and one BNC socket, and it still comes in a steel case and still has an amazing 10 MHz real-time bandwidth. The RSPDX is one of my favorite SDR receivers, and it's just got even better. Due to supply chain issues, some redesign of the original RSPDX had to be performed, but in doing so has brought us improved performance over that original RSPDX. With support from 1 kHz right up to 2 GHz, the RSPDX is one of the best on the market and it covers most frequencies the average user will want to explore. The redesign has brought us improved noise performance below 1 MHz and improved dynamic range below 2 MHz for both tuner mode and HDR mode. To put these new performance improvements to the test, we're going to compare the RSPDX with the RSPDX R2 at the same time. Now I will connect both receivers to the same antenna, which incidentally is my NFED half-wave antenna, and then use this signal splitter to share the signal between the two RSPDX SDRs. Now with two instances of SDR Connect running side by side, with the top instance connected to the RSPDX R2 and the lower instance connected to the original RSPDX. So we'll find an NDB right down here around 350 kilohertz and set both instances to the exact same settings. As we listen out for the NDB, we can observe the SNR value as the signal is received. Now we can clearly see that the top instance, which is connected to the RSPDX R2, has a much higher SNR value, meaning the noise floor is significantly lower and more of that signal is being presented to us. You can also see on the scale on the left side that the noise floor of the RSPDXR2 is around minus 145, whereas the original RSPDX set at the same frequency, the noise floor is sitting around minus 135. As well as announcing the release of the RSPDXR2, SDR Play have now released the latest build of SDR Connect, which is SDR Play's latest multi platform SDR application to be used with SDR Play products. Now, Preview 3 is available for download for free from the SDR Play website, and it incorporates some new features as well as defected fixes. Release notes are also available online if you wish to take a look at what's been fixed, added, and corrected. Now, one of the first new features is the Audio SP window, and this now shows a peak hold with decay. Now this is selectable by clicking on that Audio SP tab. Now when listening to FM broadcast stations, you will now also be able to select the MPX SP view, which is great for broadcast FM DX chasers. You can see the pilot tone along with the RDS signals in that band pass showing in that window. Another useful feature that we saw on SDR Uno has now made it over to SDR Connect and that's the ability to store and manage frequencies. You can also import your favorite memory database from SDR Uno, and this saves re-entering all of your favorite frequencies again. Now when tuned to a station and you wish to save that memory, you just simply click on that star button. To edit the memory, like to change the description, for example, just click on the little padlock and then click in the cell of your choice. You can also create different memory banks, maybe a memory bank for FM broadcast stations, and then another for two meter FM repeaters. Now the whole spectrum is full of interesting signals that you may want to save. So it's great having this option available in SDR Connect. Now SDR Play do have their own YouTube channel and they have some really in-depth videos about how SDR Connect works and goes through all the different features. So I would recommend to go and check that out if you haven't seen that already. If you've got any questions, then please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. 
And if you're gonna get yourself one of these RSPDX R2s, let us know down in the comments below what you're gonna use it for. I use mine for pretty much everything from connecting to my ICOM 7100 and using it as a pan adapter from literally everything that I want to receive up to two gigahertz. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Until next one, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.